So it's a wonderful winter day here in Calgary and we're continuing our testing of our limitless system. Today we're performing a cement test. So what we're trying to do here is simulate a cement job that would happen in the field. So we've got our, our pump set up with typical oil field cement at uh, a concentration of about 1800 kilograms per cubic meter. And what we're doing is we're pumping the cement through our limitless sleeves in the picture behind me at uh, just over a cube a minute. We're going to do that for, for about 30 minutes and uh, afterwards we'll, we'll do a standard flush with our wiper dart and then we'll check to see if there's any cement that's gone off in the sleeves in a couple of days. So we'll, we'll pump the cement, we'll pump the wiper dart and flush, shut down and put the jig to the side and we'll see what happens uh, to our sleeves if there's any cement ingress or it shouldn't be and we'll, we'll check that next week. It's Friday today and uh, we'll leave the, the sleeves over the weekend to make sure if there's any cement that gets inside the sleeves where it shouldn't be, it goes off solidly and we can, we can take a look on Monday. So we've got two sleeves here. We've got our cluster sleeve system and then we also have our landing sleeve system. So we finished approximately 32 cubes of cement pumped through our fixture at a cube a minute. Um, at the end of the cement job, we're going to pump our cement wiper dart. It's going to pump through our sleeves. We'll launch this at the same rate, about a cube a minute. We'll retrieve the dart on the far end of the jig. And uh, once that's done, we'll, we'll take everything apart and leave it sit for the weekend and, and inspect it on, on Monday. I don't think we're going to see any major problems, but uh, the reason we're doing the test is to double check. So we'll pump the dart here and see what happens. That's good, Alec. Should be able to run. So we got our cement wiper dart loaded up and then we'll be ready to, uh, to launch it. So guys, you want to get ready to pump? So we just launched our dart. It's going to come through the jig. And then we'll retrieve it from the end and that'll be the end of the test today. We'll pull the fixture apart and then uh, we'll, we'll see how the cement has affected our sleeves on Monday after it cures. So now that the dart is launched all the way through the fixture, it's probably going to be landing or landed in the uh, in the sump here. So we'll pull it off here and we'll take a look at it. Well, we got a dart there. There we go. So there's our wiper dart. No damage to it. And you can see there's a little bit of uh, remnants of cement up in the front of it where it squeegeed the, uh, the cement out of the sleeves and it's only really on the first part of it so that tells me that it's done its job. Well, it's the following Monday after our cement test. We're uh, obviously inside the shop today. Um, it's a little bit uh, chilly outside to, to do outdoor testing. It's about minus 15 this morning. But uh, anyway, we have our sleeves. We've pumped the cement through them on Friday. You'll, uh, you'll see that from the earlier parts of the video. Um, we, we pumped the cement wiper dart through, squeegee the cement through them. We've taken a look at them, inspected them. There's a little bit of remnant of cement left inside the sleeves, but I don't think anything that's gonna cause any issues. So now we're just getting ready to pump our limitless dart through our two sleeves. So we're gonna do one pass of the dart through the sleeves to show that we don't activate them. We'll remove the dart, inspect it, and then we'll throw it back in the jig. And at what point we'll activate our two sleeves and, and shouldn't see uh, anything but water streams and a proper activation. So here's a, a, soup, or a coupon of the cement that was mixed up on Friday. Um, we mixed it about uh, 1800 kgs per cube is what it turned out to be. We had a little bit left in the bottom that mixed up as we pumped. So it's definitely hard, it's definitely gone off. Um, this is the cement that we pulled from the tub from the test on Friday that was pumped through our, our sleeves. We pumped 30 cubes or just over 30 cubes, 32 or so at one cube a minute through our sleeves to simulate the cement job in the liner. But definitely is, is gone off. 
So we've got our dart ready to go here. We'll, uh, we'll break the fixture open, load the dart into it. This dart's gonna pass through our sleeves that we have installed in the fixture and the two sleeves that we, we pump the cement through and we should be able to retrieve it. So I'll have, let's get, uh, let's get this ready to go. So we'll load our dart in. Obviously the downhole end goes downhole. This will be the dart that passes through our sleeves without any activation. So in she goes. So we're circulating right now. The darts being pumped through the fixture and uh, we should see the sleeves not open and we'll see the dart or, or find the dart in the tail end of the, the sump at the end of the fixture here in a moment. Okay, that should be good. Oh yeah. Hey, you guys know what you're doing. So here's the dart, it's been retrieved. We, uh, we pumped this through two of the sleeves that we pumped cement through last Friday. Um, so we, just to re reiterate, we pumped our cement through our sleeves last Friday, let them go off over the weekend. We've got them installed in the fixture now. And we just pumped our dart through two sleeves that had the cement pumped through them, non-activated, and obviously there's no issue with activation or premature activation. So now we're gonna throw it back in again and we'll pump it through the fixture and we'll see the sleeves activate this time. The water's nice and warm. There you go. So now we've got the dart loaded in the fixture. This time the dart will pass the first sleeve and engage in our second sleeves, our cluster sleeve and our landing sleeve and open them up. These are the sleeves that had the cement pumped through them. So we've seen now a sleeve or a dart pass through the sleeves unimpeded and now we're going to activate in these two sleeves. So I'll tell the guys to get going here. We should see our, our normal activation here in a moment. So I don't think there's any question or not whether our sleeves activated and uh, this test successfully demonstrates that sending operations have no impact on the operation of our sleeves.